Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to start a new project where we will be controlling home accessories using an ESP32 via Bluetooth. This is the first part of a two-part series where we'll dive into the ESP32 setup and coding. In the next part, we'll cover the Android app development to control the ESP32. Let's get started. For this project, we'll need an ESP32 board, some LEDs, and jumper wires. On the software side, we'll use Platform I.O. with Visual Studio Code to write and upload our code to the ESP32. The source code for this project is available on my GitHub, and the link is in the description below. If you're not familiar with Android development, don't worry. I've also included the APK file in the GitHub repository that you can download and directly install on your Android device. First, let's set up the hardware. Connect a green LED to GPIO pin 12 on the ESP32 through a 220 ohm resistor. Connect a red LED to GPIO pin 13. You'll need a relay board to connect the home accessories because we can't directly connect the microcontroller to an AC power source. I will create another video on how to connect home accessories using an ESP32 and a relay module. With the hardware setup complete, let's move on. Open Visual Studio Code and open Platform I.O. Let's create a new project. Name your project something like ESP32 Bluetooth Home Control. Choose your board, I am using the DOIT ESP32 Dev Kit V1, and set the framework to Arduino. Once that's all set, click Finish. After creating the project, open the platformio.ini file and set the monitor speed. Also, make sure you have the Arduino JSON libraries installed. Next, open the SRC folder and find the main.cpp file. The complete code is available on my GitHub, and the link is in the description below. Let's copy the code, delete the sample code, and then paste the new code. Now let's go through the code step by step. In the setup function, we initialize serial communication and start the Bluetooth service with the device name ESP32BT. This lets us pair with the ESP32 over Bluetooth. In the loop function, we constantly check if there's data available from the Bluetooth connection. If there is, we read it as a string and pass it to the check data function. In the check data function, we create a JSON document from the received payload. We then check the type of command. If it's a command, we toggle the GPIO pins, and if it's a sync, we sync the state of multiple accessories. Let's look at the toggle GPIO function. This function checks for the accessory key in the JSON document, extracts the details, and sets the GPIO pin mode and status accordingly. Similarly, the sync controller function handles syncing multiple accessories by iterating through an array of accessories in the JSON document. All right, now let's upload the code to our ESP32. Connect your ESP32 board to your computer using a USB cable. Click the check button at the bottom to build the code. If everything goes well, click the right arrow to upload the code. Once the upload is complete, reset the controller and open the serial monitor. You should see the message, the device started, now you can pair it with Bluetooth. Now, let's see this in action. First, open the Bluetooth settings on your phone and pair the ESP32BT device. All right, if you already have the Magic BT app open, exit the app and reopen it. Newly added devices won't appear until you do so. Open the menu and connect your phone to the ESP32 via Bluetooth. You will see the device connection status at the bottom of the app. If you face any errors, exit the app and reopen it. Once the device is connected successfully, to add a new accessory, go to the menu and tap on the plus icon. Give the accessory a name like green LED, set the GPIO pin to 12, and tap add. 
Do the same for the red LED, setting the GPIO pin to 13. Alright, I have added two accessories. Now I can control both LEDs via Bluetooth. Just tap on the accessory to send a command to turn the LED on and off. As you can see, the LED responds to the commands instantly. Alright, that's it for the first part of our project. We've set up the ESP32, written the code to handle Bluetooth commands, and demonstrated how to control accessories using the ESP32. In the next part, we'll build an Android app to send these commands. Stay tuned, and don't forget to subscribe.